Hello, my fourth grade scientists. You're back with scientist Rachel and my three scientist assistants, uh, Sunny, Buddy, and Jack. We are still in uh, grade four. We're in waves, energy, and information. And today we're going to be in chapter three, lesson seven. We are doing activities one through four. You are definitely going to need something to write with and something to write on. And if you have any of the information that you used in chapter three, lesson six, I would run and grab that quickly because you're for sure going to need that today. Okay, so in our last lesson, we wrote about how signature whistles help dolphins communicate um, and how a dolphin calf knows which call is his mom's call versus like an auntie's call or maybe his grandma's call or someone other, another mother's call in the pod. He knows exactly which whistle is his mom's. So um, scientists use models um, to show their ideas about how something works or why something happens. So in the very beginning of this unit, you had a sound diagram um, and you had to figure out how sound travels between a mother dolphin and her, her calf, her baby underwater. Scientists revise their models when they found new evidence. We certainly have had a lot of new evidence since chapter one. So we need to go ahead and revise our diagrams to add way more information. So quickly stop the video, run and grab that so you can revise your diagram. I need you to include a waveform. You need to label amplitude and wavelength um, and label the wavelength dolphin signature whistle. Again, you learned that um, in last yesterday, hopefully yesterday's lesson. So I need you to label all of that. Whatever new information you have learned since chapter one, add that to your sound diagram. Okay, so again, you can stop the video here, review your diagram, and add any other labels or sim symbols that help explain how dolphins communicate using sound. Um, we have a brand new message from the park superintendent at Blue Bay National Park. So I'm going to read this to you. It's two marine scientists, that's you, from Maya Martinez, park superintendent, and her request, uh, her subject is request for scientific explanation. I know that you have been hard at work. We have collected some additional data that might be useful to you. We have waveforms for dolphin calls from the mother dolphin and from another dolphin. The dolphin calf only responded to one of those calls. Hmm, I wonder whose. Can you help, ex help us explain why the calf responded to just one of those calls? Please write a scientific explanation to answer these questions. Question one. How was the dolphin calf able to hear his mother even though he was really far away? Question two, how did the dolphin calf know that call was from his mother? Thank you for your hard work. I look forward to reading your explanations. So the questions from the superintendent message um, are shown in your investigation notebooks on page 75 and 76. If you have those, go ahead and open your investigation notebooks because you're going to need that. If you don't have them, no worries. Um, I have written out the questions here for you. And like always, you can just stop the video and then take your time to answer the questions. We're going to notice that the park superintendent asked about how the dolphin calf could hear his mother far away, as well as how the calf recognizes sound as his mother's call. To explain what is happening, we will need to include ideas we have been learning about amplitude and wavelength. So again, take a moment to think about your sound diagram and the ideas we wrote about in our last lesson. So we wrote about waveforms. Remember, we had three of them. You needed to label the, uh, the amplitude. You needed to label pitch um, um, for three of them. So I would grab that information from yesterday and then grab your sound diagram because those are going to help you answer uh, Maya Martinez's email. Take a few minutes to plan your explanation and answer the park superintendent's questions. Try to use some of the scientific language we have been learning, especially the words amplitude and wavelength. And at this point, if you wanna like 
talk to one someone in your house, rehearse it, find your mom, find your brother, find your cousin, and go over, like write out you what you're gonna say and then say it out loud and make revision so that you can go ahead and answer the questions. So here is some scientific language we have been um, using throughout our units. We said we've used source, visualize, explain, material, collision, um, particle, and transfer. We can also refer to key concepts and vocabulary that we've used throughout, throughout the unit to help us use scientific language when we write back. This is a chart that can help you remember how volume and amplitude are related and how pitch and wavelength are related. So on one side, it's describing the sound, is, the, is it the volume and then the pitch? And on the other side, it's describing the waveform. Um, so again, at this point in the video, you can stop and use this for your explanation as well. Here are the questions. Again, you're in page 76 and 77 in your um, science notebook, investigation notebook, or here are the questions in your written for you right here. You can stop the video and write these down. Write your explanation to these two questions. How was the dolphin calf able to hear his mother even though he was really far away? How did the dolphin calf know that call was from his mother? So again, these two questions are going to be in your um, investigation notebook, or you can stop the video and write them here. Here we go. So scientists still have many questions about dolphin communication. They are investigating um, to learn more about when and how dolphins use their signature whistles. We have focused on how bottlenose dolphins communicate and the patterns and the sounds they make when communicating. Remember, though, that many other kinds of animals use patterns to communicate, including insects, birds, and humans. We um, are communicating right now. I'm communicating with you. We will think about human communication next. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to come into your homes and help you out with the science. It's been a really fun unit. Thank you so much um, for allowing Scientist Buddy, Scientist Sunny, and Scientist Jack to help you learn science. We hope that you have enjoyed learning about dolphin communications, and hopefully we'll see you in a couple more lessons. Bye, fourth grade scientists. Have a great day.